So I've seen many videos about people making their own uh, fake mon and like making stars in their own region. So I thought I'd give this a try. I'm going to be making the starters. I am not a very good artist as, and I do not have very good uh, drawing software. So if you'd like to submit your better, probably better submissions, uh, my email will be in the description below. Anyway, let's get to it. This is Flip Flax, the hummingbird po Pokemon. Uh, Flip Flax's wing uh, feet are so tiny that it's not able to land on the ground, and his wings are moving constantly. So that what, and and must eat lots of fruit nectar to keep uh, to keep its everlasting energy moving. Flip Flax is a uh, grass uh, is the grass starter. You can see he has like a, the red head. Uh, like a hummingbird. He has the infinity symbol because that's the way hummingbirds uh, flap their wings and it has the uh, red flower on his chest because that's the like what red uh, hummingbirds love. Just red. This is Fleeturd. Uh, I don't know. What's the name of a bird? The Lark Pokemon. Uh... Now, after, sorry, we're watching the little rascals. Uh, after the flea turd has gotten uh, uh, much bigger, after, try again. Once flea turd has evolved, its beak has become a lot bigger as its feet. So now it can eat more with an, and using less energy, and can actually land on the ground. It is now uh, a grass flying type, and uh. uh what was that? Uh. Yes, and it has lost the infinity symbol and has instead gotten uh, less bright color so that way it can blend in more with the trees. This is Haste Flitter, the Red Hawk Pokemon. Haste Flitter is uh, usually seen with army generals as it is a very v valiant Pokemon and is always uh, trying to do what's best for other Pokemon. Uh, I thought it'd be cool to have the infinity symbol to be back, but on his chest as, like, a badge of honor. Uh, Haste Flitter is based off, like, a red-tailed hawk, which, if you don't know, actually, like, eat baby kangaroos. Uh, so it has the red tail and the long wings. It has the beak and kind of, like, a mischievous smile. The yellow on its hat kind of resembles, like, a blonde buzz cut, as well as if you look very closely... You can see a strap connecting it, so it looks more like a army helmet. I'm from the U.S. I don't know what uh, like uh, other helmets could look like. So if I get this incorrect, I'm very sorry. Uh, but yeah, this is the. It is also grass flying type. Uh, they all have overgrow, but because uh, that's just the ability they have. But this one's hidden uh, ability is also Sap Sipper. Well, no, not hidden ability. It will be a 50-50 chance. 50% chance it's Overgrow. Another 50% chance it's uh, Sap Sipper. In relation, because it used to be a hummingbird. And this is the Grass Starter. On to the fire. This is Slithle, the little snake Pokemon. Slithle is body is like uh, hot coals and when it, you see it running across the dirt you will also see a light burn mark while it's wandering along. Slither's name is based off of uh, uh, Slither, Sizzle, and sl uh, Little because it's a little baby snake. It's mainly orange and you can see it has like a fire out of the tail. Uh, probably it will be based off like a brown snake or something. Or Taipan uh, has the ability Blaze, and now on to the next. This is Slumber, the f uh, Fire Snake Pokemon. Slumber have now started to carry rocks on their backs to become more protective of uh, the eggs they will eventually carry. Slumber's high sense of smell will make sure. They can find the perfect rocks that'll suit their personality. 
So you can see it starts to get little rocks on its back, as well as it's uh, becoming a lot longer and more skinny. Uh, it's based off of Slender and Ember, and this is definitely going to be based off uh, a brown snake. Uh, ability Blaze, and let's see what we got next. This is Mulguru, the rock, uh, the rock snake Pokemon. Mulguru has evolved to adapt more rocks upon its body, eventually uh, just picking them up whenever uh, it crawls along them. Mulguru has uh, is very uh, aggressive and territorial, so make so make sure you stay out of its territory. Mulguru is based off the. The Uru Rock, the Gigantic Rock in uh, uh, Australia. I'm pretty sure that's its name. If it's not, I'm very sorry. And also the Mulga Snake, also known as the King Brown Snake. Uh, it, is now, uh, it is now Fire Rock type instead of just being plain fire. You can see it starts to get like a little rattle thing right there made out of rocks. And it is also... And also will have a 50% chance to have the ability Flame Body. The other 50% being Blaze, of course. Uh, I honestly would, just because of the bias, I love uh, snakes, especially snakes that live in Australia. This, will definitely, this would definitely be my starter, in all honesty. For the water starter, we have Hatchkling, the little croc Pokemon. Hatchkling... Uh, Hatchkling usually uh, hatch in groups and will make calling sounds uh, to the, so that way they can signify when to ha all hatch together. They are very uh, uh, loving towards one another, but if you mess with one, you mess with all of them. So Hatchkling is like just a little baby Hatchling, and it also has Kling in the name because on its it also has uh, scales that will just like cling around whenever you uh, go near them. Uh, it, it is very cute. I like it quite a lot. It has the ability Torrent, as all water starters do. And yeah, on to the next. This is Cane Chang, the, the chained croc Pokemon. Cane Chang uh, have done now adolescent, have done uh, uh, more adolescent things, and have such uh, gotten into lots of trouble. They, have, uh, they now wear bracelets and anklets to signify that they are different than all of the other Pokemon. Cane Chain is now like, it's the chained croc, so it obviously has like ankle anklets and like chain bracelets that it wears. It has the chains just growing on its tail now. It's very an energetic Pokemon. He has that gunslinger pose. Um, I think this one has probably the best design. Well, no. Well, Maguru was copied off the Don't Tread on Me. And I didn't realize that until just now. So this is the best original design, in my personal opinion. Uh, anyway, on to the final evolution. This is Crocorumble, the fight the fighting Croc Pokemon. Crocorumble has now uh, uh, been in many fights before, and as such knows exactly what to do, do when it's chained up. The chains are also a way to help it gain stronger muscles while training against a much uh, stronger Pokemon. It is now water fighting, and instead of torrent, instead of torrent, it can also have the ability guts. Uh, fifty percent chance as well. Uh, it ha now has like chains, like you would see on like a prisoner. I don't think it should be water steel, cause then grass couldn't do anything to it. But I and water fighting is a cool type that I don't think we've had yet. No, yes, we did. We've had polygraph. What am I saying? But. It would be a cool thing to have, and I think the change just really complete the look. And now, and if you didn't get it, it's like the cling clang. 
it's the ching ch- uh it's the cling clang like of a like a wrestling bell and then it's the let's get ready to rumble uh, let's get ready for dumbo or the crocker rumble uh i don't think i need to add any like move signature moves or no, this one, this one is a, a water chain. Well, basically, it'll get the chain around its tail and, like, wrap it. Where it'll do, like, uh, it'll be kind of like fire lash, but uh, it'll also have the bind effect. So it can't, can't escape, and it'll also take little bits of damage. Oh, I probably should do that with all of them. Okay, hold on, give me a sec. Eventually... Okay, for Moguru, it's going to be Fang Sink. The user uh, uh, sinks its fangs into a po- its opponent, b- t- uh, badly poisoning them. Uh, and with a chance for the Pokemon to take recoil damage on the next turn, a ten percent chance. This one will make sh- this one is interesting because it'll like inflict re- it'll make the po- other Pokemon have recoil instead of itself. Uh, I think about this, because, like, if you're bitten by a snake, one, you're going to get, like, poisoned, and very badly poisoned. Two, uh, uh, you're going to get, like, the recoil of being hit, so, like, you're, like, coil away. Sorry, I made that jump. Uh, so, that's going to be its signature move. It'll be, uh, uh, probably a poison-type move. So, it won't be stab, but it'll be very good. For a haste flitter, I have tactical retreat, where it will uh, uh, false charge at uh, where it'll charge at the enemy Pokemon, and then come back. It's basically the same thing as U turn, or flip turn, where they'll get hit. Well, they'll hit the other Pokemon and then uh, come back. I I think it's interesting because it's like based off an army person, so it'll be like tactical retreat. Let's go back. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, once again, if you have any like better things, which I'm sure you do, uh, please email me. Or if you want to make a YouTube video out of drawing them better, then uh, uh, just email me again so that way I can react to it. And uh, if this gets enough likes, I'll do more. I have a lot of ideas. Uh, Thank you for watching. Bye.